should you at any time feel the weight is too much, just say so. Just say so. There are other Kenyans ready to do the job. It was President Uhuru Kenyatta's rather unusual welcome statement to his eight cabinet newcomers in February. Nevertheless, one which seemingly set his administration's operational tone. Slightly over four months later, Kenyatta's first cabinet mini reshuffle has landed at the Trade and Industrialization Ministry, replacing his five-year cabinet secretary at the docket, Aidan Mohamed, with his East African Affairs counterpart, Peter Munya. Well, Peter Munya is a regular politician. Uh, Aden Mohamed has not been a politician. Now, politicians have a way of doing things uh, that is more effective in terms of perception. But some insiders trace Aden's troubles back to the May 10th Kenya Private Sector Alliance presidential roundtable at State House. During the session, bringing together CAPSA officials, judiciary representatives, and senior government officials, including all members of Kenyatta's second cabinet, manufacturers lamented about estimated yearly losses of up to 100 billion shillings through illicit trade in contrabands and counterfeits. Kenyatta would in a surprise twist, asked for a volunteer from among the senior government officials present to lead his war on contrabands. Of all those present, only former Rift Valley Regional Commissioner, now Deputy Head of Public Service Wanyama Musiambo, volunteered to bite the bullet. But the Musiambo led battle to redeem the manufacturing sector. One of Kenyatta's four legacy pillars would take a dramatic twist, roping in Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi and seemingly setting stage for Aden's exit when the crackdown on contrabands reached this household product, sugar. Some of what we are selling around and mixing as sugar has got high contents of mercury, you know, has got high contents of copper. Tests that have been done so far have not proven any presence of mercury in the sugar samples that have been taken. This quick uh, assertion contradicting C.S. Matiangi, claiming that there was no contamination in the sugar, uh, uh, did not go very well, especially when strong representatives of institutions were clear that something was wrong. But while analysts argue that the recent changes could be part of the president's effort to safeguard his legacy term by entrenching loyalty and enhancing efficiency, the role of opposition leader Raila Odinga after his now famous March 9th cooperation deal with President Kenyatta, observers say, cannot be ignored. With key members of the 2017 opposition campaign machinery, now landing new key state jobs, among them former Rongo legislator Ochilo Ayako, who declined Kenyatta's ambassadorial appointment before being swiftly replaced with former Kasipul Kabondo MP Padi Ahenda. While NASA Director of Operations Joe Aguirre was appointed chairperson of the placement board for the Kenya universities and colleges. Alongside former head of communication at Odinga's campaign secretariat, Kathleen Openda, who was picked to chair the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. But could this be a hint of likely entry of more Raila Odinga allies into Kenyatta's administration? It is perfectly within his uh, mandate to select any individual, any qualified Kenyans that he thinks he has value to his administration. And if those Kenyans come from the political divide of the opposition party, so be it. Before we go out sharing positions to the opposition, because I also support that we need the opposition also to cool the temperatures in this country. But before we share positions to them, let's first satisfy our people, the people who stood with us, the people who fought with us. Because I think as far as I'm concerned now, the Jubilee government has neglected the places that supported them. <laughs> Insiders say a broader purge in government could be looming at the climax of the ongoing lifestyle audit for state officers. <laughs> but with the babbling murmurs of disquiet among Deputy President William Ruto's allies over Kenyatta's renewed war on graft. Not whether so and so was appointed. 
Analysts argue recent appointments point to the likely trend of future government appointments as Kenyatta fights to save his legacy amidst ongoing politics for his succession. Murumi Mwangikitia News.